some say you're only as good as your last stance, but for Richard Gasquet he failed badly at the third Grand Slam of the year. The Wimbledon Championships went put opposite a French comrade Gael Monfils and was defeated by him in the opening round 6-7, 5-7, 4-6. This season has been going fairly well for Gasquet with him winning some titles and going deep in many tournaments expected of a player with his style, finesse and experience on the tour. Wimbledon and the Halley Open in Germany, Gasquet came in and soon left, losing to Germany's Florian Meyer in straight sets 2-6, 2-6. But at the Live Open in the Netherlands, he proved to be one of the experienced players on tour despite his no. 30 ranking, when he won the title, defeating his French opponent Jeremy Chardy in straight sets 6-3, 7-6, he performed much like a top 5 ranker and showed great gamesmanship on grass courts. He blasted 6 aces and won off his opponent's serve 3 times to win in over an hour's play. He did it with simplistic tactics of pushing the player back, drop shotting and extreme cross courts or even running up to do a put away volley. He was overjoyed having the victory saying, it is great to win a title again, it has been two years that I didn't win. I'm very happy to win here, I am very proud, the French Open created more challenges for Gasquet, playing in his own country and trying to live up to certain expectations caused him stress and resulted in him bowing in the third round to Rafael Nadal. The Frenchman has a standard style of play able to do quick change-ups to grab a win, despite him not being good at this while playing the Italian Open and Madrid Open where he bailed out on the opening rounds and then the second round of the Hungarian. Richard Gasquet now at the Swedish Open has shown through with his experience at winning points and taking the least energy to become victorious. He has won his opening round over Gerald Melzer in a three-set battle of 1-6, 6-3, 6-1. It is the similar tactics that he's performed over the years and he has continued to make them work for him. The quarterfinal with Casper Ruud, Gasquet has dominated in excellent drop shots, despite Ruud in the third game of the first set, putting away volleys on Gasquet. He was explosive enough on his forehand shots and precision to paint the line, causing Gasquet to be taken off guard with his unpredictabilities. It was at the fifth game though another Gasquet drop shot found its way on the other side of the net for Rue to miss. There was a tug of war over shots and strokes but it was the more experienced Gasquet to continue finding Rude's weak spots and came up with a precision lob over Rude's head to win points as the most surprising times. It is textbook stuff, a commentator for the quarterfinal had exclaimed on Gasquet's exquisite shot-making. As time went on Rude grew more fatigued at not only trying to predict Gasquet's shots but on making winning strokes and techniques of his own. It was a no-brainer and Rude went down in a ball of unforced errors and unpredictable plays losing 6-7, 2-6 that Gasquet became more wonderful at performing. Richard Gasquet has made the semi-final and will be playing opposite the Swiss Henri Loxanen who had won a doubles title at a Bastad Challenger with Harry Heliavara. Gasquet knows how to get down to business with the least little flick of his racket to score points big time. He is used to playing traditionally for years and looks good at possibly winning the Swedish Open as well as others not in long drawn-out rallies but winning by old-school techniques to capture victories and titles.